All right, Cowboy TD. Uh, this is uh, my response about possibly the Texas Longhorns moving to the Big Ten Conference. Um, you know, I thought about it over and over again about this Big Ten expansion stuff. I mean, the Pac-10 might turn into the Pac-12 as well. But to get on topic, I want to talk about a little bit of Texas moving to the Big Ten and what I think should happen to the Big Ten, which is which would set a chain reaction or a, a domino reaction to change in a few other conferences. So first off, regarding Texas going to the Big Ten, uh, obviously on the map it doesn't make geographical sense. That would be a huge lot of travel for uh, when everyone does play Texas and travels down south. That's like here in, in the Western Athletic Conference. We always have to go to Hawaii. That's, that's a pain when everyone travels there or when the Big East travels to South Florida. Another big separation uh, map-wise. Uh, I do say it benefits Texas when it comes to the TV because the Big Ten Network, uh, we do see that a lot on TV, uh, or not not us in general, but it definitely gets a lot of recognition. In fact, they have their own podcast, so they, they do get a lot of benefits uh, money-wise, uh, TV deal-wise. It definitely would hurt the Big 12, though, as, as you were saying before. Uh, obviously, today's world, the Big 12 is all about Texas and Oklahoma. Um, Nebraska trying to get back to relevance slowly, but still, it's not. Still, the Big 12 is all Texas and all Oklahoma. A lot of us think that way, and uh, those are the two consistent teams as of in today's world. With that being said, uh, I do think it would be bad for the conference and uh, terrible, but when it comes to the Big Ten, a lot of benefits there because a lot of decent schools will play each other uh, in the tradition. Texas would. There's a lot of money, a lot of money revenue. The Big Ten gets a decent amount, so it would be good from that perspective. But here's what I would want to do with the Big Ten Conference with this all expansion stuff. My first thing I'd want would be Notre Dame to join the Big Ten, but unfortunately they don't want to do that. They are very uh, independent. They want to stay independent. Uh, unfortunately, that's not going to work. The thing I, uh, as a backup, would be have Missouri join the Big Ten because uh, it makes geographical sense. It's not Columbia, Missouri is not off from the rest of the conference and uh, Missouri does have a rivalry with Illinois already so it would be very perfect and fitting that if they moved it wouldn't, wouldn't really harm the Big Twelve. Now with that being said, uh, obviously that makes 11 teams in the Big Twelve. Uh, I would, what I would do is I would move Oklahoma State to the north and I would add TCU to the south. Um, I find that uh, obviously TCU has been winning. They should be relevant somewhere. And uh, TCU, I think, would be very fitting to join the Big 12 because when it comes to the Mountain West Conference, I mean, you look at the region, TCU is so far away from everyone else that it really does not make much geographical sense that they join that. So TCU joins the south and Oklahoma State joins the north. Now, if you're an Oklahoma fan and you're complaining, saying, oh, we don't get to play Oklahoma State every year, uh, I would do the scheduling the same where you play three for two, three opposite division teams for two years and then three of the other division. But for Oklahoma, I'd have it so that they play Oklahoma State for two years and then the next the two years after that would be Nebraska. So you get to play Nebraska and then o Okie State, even though they may not be played in the same year. At least you get a rivalry somewhere. Uh, because Oklahoma State is north of Norman, I'm pretty sure, when I looked at the map. and To me, that made sense. Now, for the Big Ten Conference, uh, I would want to align it so that there's a west and an east uh, division. So on the east side, uh, you know, you have on my, uh, I'll have an annotation of it. The east would have Penn State, Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan State, uh, Purdue, and Indiana. And then on the west side, on over here, I have an annotation um, where it would have the West regarding Missouri, Illinois, Northwestern, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa. I think it would make perfect sense for the Big Big Ten to have Missouri because of the region and the fact it does have some uh, conference ties already with Illinois. Missouri can always, of course, play Kansas uh, to start the season, just like they've been doing with Illinois. So he would just reverse the roles if Missouri did move. Now, you're questioning 
What about the Mountain West? What happens to the Mountain West that TCU has gone? What happens instead is I would put Boise State in there. And Boise State, you know, it's still in that mountain region, and it makes sense. Uh, the WAC, the Western Athletic Conference, has nine teams. They can afford to lose one, and I think that they can move Boise State to the Mountain West Conference uh, just so that there's competitiveness between Utah, BYU, and Boise State. Potentially uh, teams on the rise like uh, Colorado State, maybe. So It makes perfect sense with the geography in that, and uh, I feel it fits the need. Uh, final thoughts is that for those of you who say, oh, Boise State should be part of the Pac-10. Um, unfortunately, there's no way that's going to happen, not because they they don't have other sports that are good, but the Pac-10 is very specific with academics, and Boise State's uh, academics school-wise do not fit what the Pac-10 wants. So it would be almost nearly impossible if, the, uh, if Boise State joins the Pac-10 uh, to, to be part of the Pac-10 potential Pac-12. That, that's another subject, though. I won't talk about the Pac-10 much. If you're, uh, you know, if you're watching this, and, uh, you know, give me your thoughts on what I think should happen in the, the comment below. Um, you know, Cowboy TD, hopefully you saw this. Tell me if you disagree or disagree with uh, what I think of this. If realignment happens, this is what I'd want. So, uh, I'll see you all later, and uh, peace.